Hello, it's wonderful to share another little practice with you. This one, and we will just uh, be seated. It's a breath and a mudra practice. Uh, it's so important to incorporate mudras to our practice when we speak. Most of us, at least, uh, make gestures or at least when we really want to emphasize an idea, we make gestures. Uh, when we pray, we make gestures. When we, we do anything really important, gestures are um, a representation of how our feelings are expressed through our bodies. And even if you're a person that don't make gestures at all, at all, which I think, uh, you know, is difficult, but maybe um, that will help you to express your emotions through your body and to heal the emotions through the body connection, body and emotion connection through the breath so we will dance with our gestures with the breath it's a very simple it's going to be just yogic breathing inhaling and expanding from down up exhaling and contracting from up down or creating a balloon that ascends when you inhale and making that balloon go back to earth when we exhale and the movements will try to dance through the flow so if i'm inhaling in the count of three you don't have to count but if you intuitively know in 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 how can i just move like this and keep you know i'm still breathing so it's important to go in, 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 and then out, out, out. That will make the whole difference in your practice. We will start in prayer, and we'll also use the Padma Mudra, that is the lotus flower gesture. To do this gesture, it's also very good for our fingers, and wrists. You can warm up your hands a little bit, making fists, rotating them three or five times. Already connecting to the yogic breathing. Pressing the tips of your fingers against each other until the full extension of your fingers are connecting, except for the thumbs that are only connecting the tip. Pulling the fingers towards you, the other hand, shaking, and we are ready to go. We start in Pronam Mudra. It's different from Anjali's that is soft and the hands are higher. Pranam is more intense. It's there are some different types of prayer gestures and this one we push the elbows out we push the hands together the base of your hands have to glue there is no softness and the hands don't bow like in angelis mudra pressing we will breathe in through the whole extension of the breath we reach the sky and then we breathe out through the left side, creating a mandala of energy. We breathe in through the right side, ascend. We exhale through the right, go as far as you can. We breathe in through the left this time. Padma Mudra, we exhale, bringing the lotus to the heart. We breathe in and hold. Maybe closing the eyes and visualizing a beautiful lotus. Exhale, arms out. Breathing in, hands together. Prayer. Exhale. Inhale, sky. 
Exhale, left side, go as far as you can. Breathing in right side. Exhale, right side. Breathe in left side. Exhale, bringing the lotus to the heart. Separate the fingers the most you can. Only thumbs and pinkies and the base of your hands are together. Breathing in deeply and hold. Relaxing shoulders, maybe closing the eyes, visualizing a beautiful glowing lotus in the heart. Sigh out, arms out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer. Let's interlace fingers, flipping the palms to the sky, arching. Exhale, arms out, breathing in, making a lotus in your navel or sacral chakra or root chakra. And we start lifting all the way forward and you lean as if you're offering your flower and a rain of flowers around you as you exhale breathing in lower chakras exhale offering inhale lift exhale shower breathing in lower chakras exhale offer breathe in lift exhale shower of flowers around you one more Exhale, breathe in and out, beautiful. Then we bring the hands in front of the heart, crossing them as in a protection gesture. Doesn't matter which arm you have in front, just remember and we will do the opposite side later. And then we start showing our palms to the sky and maybe even to the person that is in front of us, the imaginary person maybe, separating the fingers, lifting the pinkies, lowering the index fingers, pointing the thumbs, separating the fingers and energizing them. It's the lotus bouquet. We breathe in, holding a beautiful lotus bouquet. Sigh out. We inhale and we lift that gesture to the sky. Elbows are really squeezing backwards, shoulder blades. Keep it breathing. Longer breaths. Inhale. Exhale, holding it down. So you see how the hands go inwards and outwards. Inwards and outwards. It's a very beautiful gesture. In and out. In and out. So here, just bring the opposite hand to the top. Stay, visualize, breathe. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, showing it to the sky. Inhale, heart. Exhale, holding the bouquet. Breathe in inwards, breathe out outwards. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's just pause with hands together in front of the chest to send appreciation to all past masters that kept 
these amazing, pure, beautiful practices that reach us today because they kept them alive. And we're so fortunate to practice. You can do this mudra, bringing flowers to your life, to your heart, anytime you feel sad, anytime you need joy, compassion, and anytime you need to be reminded that anything can be transformed, that we are lotus, for the lotus doesn't exist without the mud. Extract all the best from the mud and glow as a lotus. Namaste.